So, uh, how is logogenesis subject to potential? How is it programmed in the DNA? We don't know. Now, I've already played you this Bach Brandenburg concerto, so we're going to play that. I could play you some cello suites. Uh, you want, would you like some cello suites or shall we skip this? Play it. I don't know which one to play. Let's see what else falls in. But uh, let me skip it for a moment and just tell you that we have gone further, as, uh, as Marty mentioned in his introduction, we have made a socially beneficial employment from these forms. A natural way to help nature. And we call this doing scentic cycles. It's a sequence of emotions which you experience uh, and express and experience and which leaves you with um, different from where you were when you started. How different, I will try to explain a little bit. The, we have experimented with this and we came up with a, a good mix of timings and, and what emotions to use. This is the sequence of emotions and it tells you how many minutes each one is and the number of expressions in each phase of this cycle. And uh, of course, you, you, well, the way this, you do it, you always have to wait for a click before you do an expression. You cannot just do it the way you express away any time you feel like it. There's a timing thing that says you now you express. So you have a readiness to express. The readiness is very important. Say it's anger, for example, you're ready to express anger. But you cannot do it until it comes a click, and then you do it. And then you wait for the next click. And during this waiting period, the, you focus on the, the emotion. And, um, and that way, the intensity of the emotion mounts with the number of expressions until it reaches a kind of plateau and then decreases. You had enough of the, unless a person has had a lot of repressed emotions, they repressed anger, then uh, he, he, is, he likes to express that anger longer than a person who hasn't got excessive amount of anger repressed. And uh, so this helps also, as you do it a number of times, to even out your emotional balance, that is how uh, the, the, the repression of anger will dissipate um, in a matter of weeks. And some emotions people have trouble with expressing. They're so inhibited that they can't do it. Uh, and it varies with individuals which ones are repressed like that. And again, what happens after some use the thing evens out, and they can do all these emotions uh, well. And the idea of this is not to have extremely uh, intense emotions, but to savor them and have moderate uh, intensities, and even intensities, and enjoy the imagination of fantasy, fantasy that these emotions evoke in you, like in a way, dream in a sense. Uh, so, <coughs> and these are the individual timings of the clicks. They, they vary for each emotion uh, and they vary from each other. It is in milliseconds. I mean seconds, sorry. Six seconds and milliseconds. And uh, so what, how do you, what, what, uh, the, how do you feel after you go through this process? Uh, this is so if you, if you have a sense of well-being, peace, energy, more energy than usual. La uh, although you don't, you don't rush around. You're quiet, but you have energy in being quiet, like Bach. You see, typically it tends to for 24 hours, dissipates nervousness and anxiety. 
because as you express these emotions, um, you also are um, affecting the nature of your anxiety. Depending on I mean, the different kinds of anxiety, it's hard to, in order to generalize, but uh, it generally, an improved sleep. If you do this an hour before you go to sleep, you'll sleep better. Or if you wake up in the middle of the night, can't take get back to sleep, do a cycle, it takes 25 minutes, you sleep soundly after that. And it generally allows you to be creative uh, because it improves the flow. Because this expression of these emotions is also a flow. Because you're ready to do it, you do it. Just like I'm talking, it's a natural, natural thing. And so you live in a, um, an environment in which it's okay to be natural. And, and you enjoy being natural. And you're not punished for being natural, on the contrary. You might say almost, uh, you're not rewarded for being natural, but in a sense you are. Um, you enjoy the emotion, just like you enjoy them in music. And, and by the way, in music you can enjoy sad music, because the grief in sad music, it puts you in touch with the grief of the whole uh, world, uh, you know, all humanity, all animals. So. Uh, you become part of grief as an entity, as an existence in the world. And that's a good feeling. Because, I mean, it's uh, related to what we call compassion. compassion. And you learn to distinguish between anger and hate. Very different, especially with respect to a child. Uh, you can be angry at the child and then understand that. And, uh, but to hate the child, they understand that too. And hate means desire for destruction, killing. And the child picks that up too. And it's very bad. But anger is, is helpful to a child, actually. Prevents them from getting into very difficulties, I think. Uh, but it's very often mistaken, the two are confused. And particularly when adults confuse it and a child doesn't learn that clear distinction and is exposed to hate, that is a uh, very bad prescription. And then you, because you do this in a sitting position, very quiet, you get to feel the bodily sensations that are different in each emotion. You get to feel that, a sense of flow and love, for example. There's nothing flowing, nothing flowing, but you feel it emanating, flowing. It's a wonderful feeling. These are, these feelings are Virtual, you might call them virtual feelings, because um, there's nothing flowing, and, and uh, let's say in, in the lightness, say in joy, suddenly your arm feels light, you can express joy, you're allowed to leave the finger rest incidentally, and then you look up, and you come back to the fingers, you sort of float back in an ecstatic way, that is a joy expression. Um, but th there is a flaw in all this. Uh, for the love for, that we have, this wonderful love, and the Beethoven puts it in his music, and Mozart and Bach, they all put it in there. With reverence to but they don't put the address. They send this, there's love, but it comes to us, but they have no address. So we don't think of it as personal, but it is. <laughs>